driving again for another hour to Surrey to our free storage locker to pick up the 15,000 samples that we stupidly brought all the way out here in a U-Haul trailer to bring them back to hopefully give them out tomorrow. And if we don't give them out tomorrow, then we have to take them all the way back to Surrey, BC, where we put them back in our storage locker. That was free, but it's not feeling very free right now. And all this time, we have to do this on $2.05 BC gas. God damn it. Anyways, um, I'm not that upset about it because I don't mind driving, but to be honest, it's a, it's a, little, a little annoying. It's a lot annoying. Good morning, it's Friday and we're both pretty tired already. <laughs> and, but today is the Vancouver Expo where we'll be displaying the product, talking about the product and also getting the chance to sell the product for the next two days. And then Alessa and I are also running the Vancouver Marathon Expo, the Vancouver Marathon, excuse me, it's too early in the morning for me to talk properly. We're running the Vancouver Half Marathon on Sunday. so. It's going to be an interesting weekend and we're excited to take you along with us. Just press reconnect this reader to try again. And then I hit it and then it says failed again. <laughs> Why? Here at the trade show we're setting up. Um, people are going to slowly start coming in shortly and our square readers are not working. Um, and I'm, I'm losing my mind. One of my biggest pet peeves is when technology just fails us when it should be working and we're doing all the troubleshooting and it's just not working so thank god Devin is behind me through that if you can see through that shelf over there um he's sitting on hold on support on a call with them trying to figure it out thank god because i could not so thankfully he's the one dealing with that but a little stressed about uh if this is gonna work in the next 10 minutes when people start showing up so fingers crossed We're so late because Devin takes forever to get ready. It's okay, I gotta put all my face cream on and stuff. Better to have nice skin than be on time, right? No! I'm exhausted. My feet hurt. Still labeling. Hi, how are you? Good. So, this is an endurance bar made with spirulina algae. Okay. Um, are you okay. familiar with spirulina? I am. Okay, so it's also great benefits of spirulina. Uh, the horrible, horrible taste of it. Okay, so we're at day two of the Vancouver Expo. Um, it's been a really long day. Yesterday was really long as well. Um, we're just getting swarmed at the booth. Tons of people asking questions, getting samples, um, which is really great. It's what we want, that's why we're here. But I am exhausted. Um, very worried about the race tomorrow just because I'm already tired and it's at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So a little stressed about that. Um, but I just took a little step. I'm hiding behind, this is our backdrop. I'm just hiding behind it right now, taking a few minutes just to chill. I've got my deodorant and a change of socks that I'm definitely gonna be using and to freshen up, feel like a new person so we can get through the last few hours um, of the expo and just have enough energy and excitement to be able to kind of keep talking to people and, and telling them on why they should be buying algae. So. So how do you feel for this? <laughs> Not good. No, you're going to be fine. Not good at all. Just past the 11k mark, so this is officially the longest I've run ever. Um, feeling pretty good so far. Started nice and slow, just to make sure that I made it all the way to the end. So 10k left to go. Feeling pretty good. Good morning, so we're done. 
It's really hard. The little micro hills made it, it pretty challenging, but that was awesome. A ton of fun and a super great way to see Vancouver. My legs hurt so much. Yeah, but you finished in a pretty good time. So you I have finished. To I didn't walk at all. So That's I good. ran the whole thing. So I'm really proud of that. Um, I felt good. Like I really paced myself. Who knew that? Pacing yourself helps. Not me. Um, so I felt really good until like the 17, 18 kilometer mark. And then I started to feel it a little bit. So that was good. No training. So I'm pretty happy about Alessa that. Alessa and I have had a very unproductive day. I've had a very productive day. I've had a very unproductive day. I've gotten so much done today. Okay, uh, scratch that. Alessa has had a very productive day and I've been walking around like uh, I'm 85 years old. <laughs> I Things are not working in my body today, mostly because of the marath half marathon yesterday. Alessa's legs aren't working, but at least her mind is. No. My mind isn't. Um, but the good thing is that we're going up to Squamish right now we're gonna have a ton of fun over the next three to four days. Camping, campfires, eating camp food. I guess. Lots of impact bars, of course. But also probably getting very wet because it's supposed to rain for the next like five days in Spanish. So we'll see how that goes. Squamish. We're here at the Mamquam. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Campsite. And it's $20 a night and we're here for three nights. So what could go wrong? It's a gonna lot. be epic. A lot could go wrong. Problem with what we're doing. Living on the road, trying to build this business, is that we get into situations like this where we need to go from place to place to place and you've got one very organized person who doesn't have all the bike gear and the swimming gear and the surfboard and everything else. She will, just not yet, she will. And then one person, me, who has way too much stuff all the time and is horribly disorganized. So trying to take everything out of the car every single time, reload it. It's becoming quite challenging. Skincare, even while camping, it doesn't stop. Okay, my face is breaking out, so yes, definitely. Pretty tight in here, but cozy. I'm sleeping on a Lunar Life mattress for the first time ever. The custom one for custom, I guess, if you want to call it that. Uh, but it fits the contour of the back of the Subaru Outback very well. It's folded in half, so I'm only sleeping on half, but it's going to be a nice and cozy night. Alessa is sleeping in the tent way over there somewhere. Alessa and I have been working from this co-working space in Squamish for the past two days, and we're pretty much living in this place, but we're not feeling too hot right now. We're both, well, we showered at the pool last night, so at least that's good. And neither of us feel necessarily that great. It's all about you. It makes me want to be out there, but we have to work. But it's pretty cold out there. We have to be responsible adults. Yeah, we've pretty much taken over this kitchen. The one thing that we are really happy about is that we don't have to be working 
from the campsite in the rain, so we're very happy that we found this co-working space in Squamish. Unfortunately, they're closing in a month, two months, um, so we just just made it. But um, yeah, it's a good place to work, that's for sure. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps the algorithm and it helps us promote the impact bar and tell everyone about our story. And we'll see you next Wednesday. Over and out.